Would you like to use Google Fonts or your own custom fonts in your form? Let me show you how. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I am Kimberly. And aside from the plethora of fonts that Jotform has available to us, you can also use other fonts like Google Fonts or your own custom fonts. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to Google Fonts. So I'm gonna go ahead and head there now. So from here, we just need to scroll and find a font that we would like to use. So for this example, I wanna to try to find one that's a little bit different from the normal font so that way we will be able to know for sure that it has changed. So I am going to choose this one right here, Zen Loop. Now we can see that there's multiple styles. We have the regular one and then we have italicized. So we need to choose just one that we want to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the regular one. I'm gonna to choose to select this style. Then up at the top right, we have where it says view selected families. You can see have a little notification here. And we can see that Zen Loop has been chosen. Right now it's on the link option, but we need the import option. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the import option. And then we want to copy everything that's in between the style tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna head back over to my jot form. Then from here, we wanna choose the form designer over on the right hand side. And we're going to be in the second tab, styles. So I'm gonna scroll down, we can see here it says inject custom CSS, and I'm gonna paste it right in there. Good deal. Next, we need to apply one more piece to this puzzle. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in. It is in the help article, but we can see right here where it says font family charm. We're gonna head back to Google Fonts, and we're gonna copy this piece of code right here, and we're gonna replace this middle part with that. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now, it's not gonna look like anything happened while we're in build mode, unfortunately, that it's what it's gonna be like. But if you wanna view this, we can choose preview form or you can view your live form. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the preview form. And there you go, there is our Google font. Now, if you're wanting to use your own custom font that you have on your own server, definitely check out the help article that goes along with this video for the custom code to replace what we put and where it says inject custom CSS. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about Google fonts or using your own custom fonts with Jotform, let us know and I'll see you next time.